perfectly on time with his wife by his side, 88-year-old Kenneth Donald Jessup arrives at the Sanford Center for Aging for one of his weekly classes, the Thriving and Surviving Workshop, designed specifically for cancer survivors. Well, I've had prostate cancer and colon cancer, April fib and sin, a few things, but I'm still here. <laughs> Still here, still kicking, and still on campus at the University of Nevada, Reno, a place he's quite familiar with. Vice President in charge of everything non-academic for and up in the late 70s and early 80s, and then I went back to teaching math, which is what I really love for the last seven years. As a member of the Board of Regents and VP of Business, Don had a large part in creating the Nevada system of higher education and UNR's prestigious medical school. Little did he know he'd one day return to the institution as a two-time cancer survivor, utilizing the very resources he fought so hard to bring here nearly half a century ago. I really had no idea because, boy, I really didn't. Today, the med school is much larger with beautiful modern buildings, the latest and greatest technology, and community outreach programs improving the health and wellness of thousands. And every day is a gift and enjoy as much as you can. Sometimes it's hard. <laughs> and just as true visionaries do, Don's still planning for the future. Who knows how much future is there, but does anybody know, you know? And so I guess that's all I can tell you is you just keep on keeping on. I'm joined now by Heather Haslam with the Samford Center for Aging to talk about a new workshop that's being offered in our community called Cancer Thriving and Surviving. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. So tell our viewers how they can get involved and possibly participate in this workshop. So the first week is actually the introduction to the workshop where participants can come, hear about the workshop, meet the participants, see if it's a good fit mm -hmm. for them. And then the next week we really dive into the workshop. And the workshop is evidence-based. and. And so there's lots of research behind the workshop. It's even scripted to make sure that certain outcomes are met for each participant as they go through the process of the workshop. These sort of workshop and support groups are so huge for cancer survivors. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so our participants have really reported feeling like they can manage their own health after participating in this workshop. They also feel like they can communicate more effectively with their healthcare professionals, their family members. They have the tools to be able to talk with all of the important people in their life about their diagnosis, their treatment, um, and or being in remission and, and what it's like for them. Exactly, and obviously going through something like this, cancer is a huge toll on not only your health, but your emotional status as well. Mm -hmm. So having this tool is a, is a really great thing. Thing. So yeah, it's having the tools to be able to communicate effectively and then it's also the support of the group mm -hmm. and meeting people in the group who are either recently diagnosed, in treatment, or in remission and to be able to connect with people who are experiencing something like you mm -hmm. um, is really critical to managing cancer. What are some of the biggest challenges that you see people coming into this group with? Mm, I would say it's this emotional mm -hmm. sadness uh, from the diagnosis. Um, for people who have gone a, through treatment and are now in remission, it's figuring out how to move forward with life because life has sort of stopped with the uh, cancer diagnosis and um, while in treatment focused on just getting well and then now in remission what what does the next X number of years look like and so working with people around those um, topics. And there are so many resources in our community which is just mm -hmm. awesome. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about those? Yeah, so some of the resources we have the Nevada Cancer Coalition which is a wonderful resource um, so check them out online. Um, there's support groups at all of the major hospitals and so getting support from other people. This class is different in that it is in a support group because it's not ongoing. There's an end date, um, but there are groups that you can connect with. St. Mary's has a great uh, fitness program for people 
people living with cancer. So we're really lucky to live in a community that has so many resources Absolutely. for people. And one more time, how can our viewers sign up for this class? It's yeah. coming up, right? Yeah, it's coming up in May. It starts in May. And um, you just need to visit our website. Um, and you can register online or you can call us at 784-1583. Awesome. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Aging and awesome. We'll be right back.